be the show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. A good one on tap for you this afternoon between the Cincinnati Reds and the Pittsburgh Pirates. And now, your 2000. It's baseball on the show, Pittsburgh and it's coming up Pirates. next. Chad Cool, the Delaware-born hurler, gets the call to start here. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, Matty V, this guy lives and dies with one pitch, and that's that powerhouse sinker. Guys often relate it to like trying to hit a bowling ball. When it's good, it's usually at the knees and below, and he's really easy to figure out if he's going to be on. If in the first inning you see a steady diet of ground balls and keeping his infielders involved, there's a pretty good chance he's going to have a rock-solid game. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Swing and a liner. But that'll land foul strike one. First pitch, one o'clock. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. High in the air out to center field, giving chases offered. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. Batting second, the right fielder, number two, Nick Castellanos. Ready now for Cincinnati, Nicholas Castellanos. Now the pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. Newman brings it in. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. In now for the Reds, Joey Votto. First pitch on its way. And yeah, that's a fair ball lined to the right side. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. Standing in now, Eugenio Suarez popped straight up. Cool. Waits on it. And that's the third out. One left for Cincinnati. Now the Pirates will get their first opportunity. No score. Luis Castillo, the right-handed native of the Dominican Republic, will be the starter. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. And that'll bring in Adam Frazier. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The second baseman, Adam Frazier. And the pitch. Bounce towards the second baseman. Scooped up. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Batting second. Not shortstop. Champion. Newman. So the next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Kevin Newman. First offering. Rounded down the third baseline, but this will get foul for strike two. Hit on the ground to third, fielded by Mustakis. Throw gets him, two down. Up next for the Buckos, Brian Reynolds. Lifetime versus this pitcher. He's 0 for 8. First pitch coming, here it is. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. 
everything this guy throws is hard. That changeup he throws is in the high 80s to go along with that good heater. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. After fouling off the second one, I got to step out of the box, adjust my. But uh, we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Down in order go the Pirates. Still no score. New inning set to get underway and set to go as the third baseman, Mike Mustakis. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Hard hit toward the hole. He's got it. In the dirt, and oh, he can't quite dig it out. That is it. So you can mark that one down as an E5, and I'd bet he'd like to have that one over. So it's a runner at first as a result of the throwing error. And at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Nick Senzel. From the stretch. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. To Frazier at the bag. On to first, and they get them both. That's a great example there of why the sinker is such an effective pitch. The hitter's eyes see it higher in the zone than it ends up, and that makes it real tough to square up. Jonathan India digging in now. As he swings and grounds it toward the hole. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And not really much of a chance to recover there as he'll reach first on what undoubtedly will be scored as an infield single. Into the box now. Tucker Barnhart. Big swing but a little dribbler here to the right side of the mound. Throw on to first and they'll escape the danger created by the error. The inning is over. Takes just four pitches to set down the Reds. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up Colin Moran. For the Pirates, the first baseman, Colin Moran. Here's the first pitch to him. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he gives this a pretty good ride that time, but that's going to be up amongst the crowd of foul ball. Hey, I don't blame him for fouling that one away. His eyes lit up right there. He did not expect a change up up in the zone with two strikes. Got to regroup. Another 0 2 home. High in the air down the right field line. Castellanos is over a few steps toward the line and he has it for the first down. Batting fifth, the third baseman, Philip Evans. Next, it'll be Philip Evans. First pitch on its way. Yeah, this one's from Mustakas at third. And boy, just about overshot his man at first, but he's able to keep a foot on the bag over there, and that's out number two. The right fielder. Here's Gregory Polanco. He'll try to make something happen with two gone in the bottom of the second. Swung on and belted to right by Polanco. This one's deep. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. A solo shot down the line in right. As they get on the board first, it's one to nothing.
When you're facing an elite starter, you know runs are going to be at a premium. I don't know if this shakes the starter's confidence, but you know what it does? It certainly boosts the confidence of the guys in your lineup. Batting seven. The catcher. Jacob Stallings Jacob. will be the next hitter. Baller. Hit back toward the mound. And that's through for a hit. Senzel brings it in. Batting eight. The center fielder. Next up, Anthony, Anthony Alford. He takes Alford. his first cuts in this one with a man at first and two away. A look now the pitch swung on and lifted in the air to left center left fielder is on the move he makes the catch what a play on the run to end the inning one in the inning for the Pirates on the home run and as the Pittsburgh TV guys like to say clear the deck cannonball coming last chance coming up here for the Reds it's now one nothing Pittsburgh Tyler Molly will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher for here. Number 30, Tyler Molly. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And this ball is lined into center field. And right off the bench, he comes through. It's a base hit. The left fielder, number 33, Jesse at the plate now Jesse Winker he'll go to the bag for one here's one that you don't see too often right safe at second base but out at first great hustle there from the runner going into second really showed off his speed Nick Castellanos now as he'll go after a hard sinker that time and falls behind nothing in one the base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second a one count here's the pitch for short hit hard in time to first and there are two away and now in the box Joey Votto trying here to plate the tying run from second. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit hard to the right side. Fielded cleanly and a step on first for the out and the ball game is over. The old adage in baseball is a solo home run won't beat you but that definitely doesn't apply in these three inning games. That can often be all you need and that was the case in this one. A single run good enough to do it today. One nothing the final score. Pittsburgh took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Chad Cool is the winning pitcher of record. Luis Castillo only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. 